Welcome back. So now that I've tried to explain this to you as good as I can with my few skills, um, let's try and do it. Let's try and make a few files. I'm going to start off by making three files in the calculator folder and we're going to try and add them to version one to try and explain this set to you. So I'm going to use um, the tool here first, the desktop client first, and then in the next lesson I'll try and do the same with the terminal. So we have the calculator here and right now it has these two files already. Let's just keep them there. I want to go in and add a few more files. So I'll just do that in here. I'll just add a new file. I'll call it text document and I'll call this one just to make it simple. I'll just call it one.text. And I'll make another one. I'll call that two.text. And then I'll make a last one and I'll call that, I guess that three.text. Just to kind of represent the same as my drawing here. One, two and three. Okay, so now I want to add these guys to the terminal, uh, sorry, to my repository using the desktop client. First of all, you'll notice that whenever you want to see the newest changes, you always have to go to the circle up here furthest to the right. And that might be this way when you look at me in the video. So I go here and here we have all the changed files. And if I want to add them, I can just select them here. So this is whether or not I want to add them in the next commit. You remember I talked about, do you want to add them or not? If yes, I just do the add dot command. Now if I want to do that, that's the same as clicking up here inside the desktop client. You notice that I'll add everybody in the next commit. The next, next thing I said is I did a commit and actually I should say that I even do a small M here to say I want to add a message and the message can then be any kind of text like hi or whatever you want to put in here. That's just a message. So let's try and do that. I'll just say hi in here in the message and now I can actually do a commit. Click. Now they are both added to my first version, version one, but here instead of version one it's called version F. Let me just zoom here. It's called version F77C4C4. That's the version name. I just called it version one to make it easier, right? Good. So I just added my first files using an add command and a commit command inside the desktop client. Let's try and add a few more files. Let's go back to the drawing. Next, I wanted to also add five, six, and seven. So let's start off by doing that. I'll just copy these guys, paste them in, and I'll just change the name of them to five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. So here we have the files again. And let's just go into the terminal again, go to the furthest to the right. And here I can see my new files, but I didn't want to add them all. Remember that. In the drawing, I only wanted to add file number five. So I'm only doing an add of file number five. The way I do that here is just remove the other check marks. I only select add for five number file. Five. And let's just say added file five as the comment and do a commit. And Gashim, I have a new guy here where it only added file number five. Instead of version two, it's called 4518 cap. So let's see, here it would save version two, but here it says version blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter, good. So that was the ad where I only wanted to add five, five, file number five. What else did we actually do here? Well, I also added file number seven, but before I did that, I actually physically, or as physically as, as it can be, removed file number six. So let's delete five, file number six again. Delete this guy, boink, I have file seven left. If I go into my tool here, remember again, I have to go all the way to the right. It's only five, seven that's left. What did I wanna do? I wanna add everything and commit it. So I'll add everything, I'll give a small message, add it, file seven and removed file six. And I'll do a commit. And Kashemi, now file 7 is added, a new version. Let's do the final step here. I also wanted to try to actually delete file number 1. How can I do that? Well, let's go back to the tool here and say this guy needs to be deleted. But now it's actually in the history. It knows there was a file 1 at some point. So if I go into the furthest to the right here, you'll see, hmm, there was actually a file 1 here, but that's been deleted now. Do you want to actually delete that for real with a commit? I'll say yes, I want to do that. Deleted file one. I'll do the commit and now file one is gone. 
So if I have a look here, you'll see file one is gone. Everything is up to date here. If I go in here, I'll see you just removed file number one. So that was all the steps we did here using a version control tool. And now my entire history is here. First you did this, then you did uh, your high, you actually added three files. You added file number five, you added file number seven, and you deleted file number one. Welcome to version control. See you in the next lesson.